2024, a fairly large 6.4 downgraded to a 6.3 earthquake struck the southern area of Japan today, and it took place while we were taking somewhat of a beating from our sun. And that's not over yet. The last 24 hours on our sun haven't been that bad, but the last 48 hours takes us back to a specific point where the sun let off a flare, and we should be expecting that around tomorrow. That left on the 15th, and as you could see on the left side there, we have a lot of different sunspots coming in that are getting very active. They are interacting with each other with the positive and negative parts of the sunspot, which then in turn sometimes cause very large solar flares or CMEs. And on top of that, those are known to cause earthquakes. So between the sun activity and the Japan quake, I'm putting out a major earthquake watch, specifically for the Western Pacific, but the entire ring of fire is not out of question. When the earthquake first hit, people were expecting a significant amount of damage. A 6-4 is pretty large. Japan is used to earthquakes of this size, of course, we know that. But part of the New York Post article goes on to say an earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 6.4 hit southern Japan late on Wednesday. This came without a tsunami warning, so that is very important. If you see otherwise, it is probably not true. The epicenter was the Bungo Channel, a strait separating the Japanese islands of Kyushu and Shikoku, according to officials. This website right here, the Japanese Times, is calling it a 6.6, .6, so a little bit bigger than the 6.4 that the USGS is saying. Here's a look of all the earthquakes we've had in the last two days, or at least reported earthquakes. If we go ahead and change that to 6, take a look at that. The only one, at least in the last two days, has been Japan. And because this area is so prone to big earthquakes, we need to be aware that this could be a foreshock to a bigger quake, like we saw in Taiwan within just the last few weeks. So this entire area of the Ring of Fire, the Western Pacific, is very much on watch, not only because it's it's been showing signs of activity, but because the sun is now expected to show a lot more activity based on those sunspots we were just talking about. Once again, you can see those all moving in from the left limb of the sun. The ones closer to the equator of the sun are the ones we need to watch out for the most. Those are considered earth facing. And when they erupt, it takes about 36 to 48 hours for that to arrive to earth. And whatever area of the earth is facing the sun at that time usually gets those instant radio blackouts, internet outages, sometimes cell phone interruptions, not to mention many, many studies going on now talking talking about how the effects of solar flares affect us as humans. I think it's safe to say that if the Earth is affected by the sun, we are certainly affected by the sun. The user reports and detailed info go on to say this, a very strong magnitude 6.3 earthquakes. Now that's three different magnitudes are being reported for this quake, which is very frustrating to me because all these companies are trying to juggle these numbers to keep their averages at a certain spot and not reporting the actual info. Now, as far as what this quake did, obviously you could see the island of Japan completely covered in reports of people feeling this quake. It's officially going down as a 25.7 kilometer in depth quake and if you want to you can actually scroll down to the bottom of this website and it'll show you all these individual user reports and tell you what they felt some of them are pretty detailed some of them get graphic so there's a little warning for you and one more thing i wanted to point out was take a look at new jersey we are still getting aftershocks a week after that large earthquake struck the state that we reported on here right away actually it was one of our bigger videos that day and as you can see right near the ramapo fault line still there's multiple aftershocks here within the last 24 hours. I'm going to go ahead and keep it short and sweet for this one. I have a lot of info to get out for you today. Please go over and check out the X channel as well as Instagram. We have a lot more content over on those platforms as well. And tell me your thoughts. Let me know if you heard anything weird about this quake and we will take it from there. I appreciate you all. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.